Hi and welcome back to Dad's RC Hangar. I'm here, a box is here, that only means one thing, it's that Friday feeling. And that Friday feeling, there's two words I want to hear. That's Motion RC and Freewing, and we got them both. Alrighty, welcome back. I don't know if you know anything different about me. Yes, he's got his teeth, finally he's got his teeth. I'm not sure if I like them though, I didn't realise my teeth were so wonky and uh, where they've been so brilliant and matched into my bottom teeth. It looks like someone's gone through a jigsaw through my mouth and it's a bit wonky, a bit like I do. Anyway, it is hot. I got a fan. I got subscribers but I also got fans. Let me just, let me go. It is so hot in the hangar today. I should have been carrying on um, with the Tiger Moth, uh, with the build from that, but it is just too hot. And this box has been sitting in the hangar for about Hmm, a week, maybe a bit more. Uh, yeah, about a week and a half. Uh, just been itching to be unopened. Um, this is a plane that I did want for a little while. Uh, well, for quite a while. I've been looking. Every time I look at Motion RC sites, I think I want one of those. I want one of those. I want one of those. Let's put that down. <laughs> it's got to be on for a bit. So I excuse if there's a bit of a hum. Anyway, yes, Motion RC. You know, I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. And for some reason. This just kept popping out me, and I don't know why the front of it, it looks like a, a Boeing 7 or 747 with a thing coming out the side. I don't know. But anyway, let's get back to the unboxing. So, I've, I've, I've actually undone the top of the box, as you can see. I can see, you can't see. Um, the reason I did that is because some of my free wing boxes come and there's nothing on them. Um, so you just got a white box. But this has, this has got pictures. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna open this box. And before you see anything, it is the Freewing A6E Extreme Intruder. Why Intruder? That sounds so sexual. I'm sorry, but it does. Yeah, no? Maybe it's just me. This puppy, look at this. Let's spin this round. And there she is in her full and glory. Excuse the lights, of course. Look at that. Now she just looks really awesome, don't you think? I think she's fantastic. Now this is the E, I don't, the E stands for something, I don't think it is extreme, but it has got the extreme outrunner motor and it has got uh, a 12 bladed EDF 80 inch, 80 millimeter, 80 inch? That'd be good, wouldn't it? 80 millimeter EDF jet fan. And I had to have one. So let's get this, uh, let's get this box out. So I'm gonna stop this for a second so I can have a bit of fanage because I am sweating um, and get this out and then get ready to open it up. Alrighty, welcome back to Dad's RC Sauna. Yes, it's like a sauna. It was 88 today in the UK and it feels just like that at the moment. I have got a fan blowing up my back just to keep me cool. So I have to apologize, I'll speak up so then there's not so much whirring noise in the background. But, uh, yeah, I wasn't going to do a movie and I thought, well, you know, I've got this box. It gives me an excuse to open it. She is a lovely bird. I'm sure you can see. I'll try not to get the, the glares, but she's just beautiful. As per usual, you get the thank you from Motion RC. Thank you, Motion RC. Thank you, Freewing. So let's get this open with my uh, Bear Grylls blade. Because we like Bear Grylls. Now they have opened this up because I did ask, um, I did buy something at the same time and uh, for the, and I, I just realised what it is. So, 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 I'm trying to get all my so's out of the way so I don't keep saying so. Okay, so, so he said it again. I reckon someone should count how many times I say it. Right, so let's get this bird open. I haven't seen it in here and I'm excited. Oh. oh yes, 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 yes. Double platform. Once again, free wings packing is just second to none. It really is. We got a, 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 a Bible that's kind of stuck. That's okay. It's okay. We don't mind about torn Bibles. But there's our uh, Bible or a user manual, as some people like to call it. I call it the Bible because it's it's basically what you're meant to do. And I'm excited, I'm excited. We're gonna chat about this today, chat about this. If I don't fry, 
it's possibly right now here is the extra order that I ordered here's the extra part that I ordered <coughs> and that's the LED set this doesn't come as standard um, it's actually an F14 LED set but it can fit in this as well so yeah so if you've got an F14 LED set that you've seen this is it and we can stick it in this because this doesn't come with LEDs that's why it's, it's reasonably priced um, by the looks of it it's looking sexy so let's start unboxing this sort of stuff so we've got a fuel tank general fuel tank now it's going to play havoc on the lighting no doubt because it's grey once again a beautiful finish absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful it's a fuel tank come on Chris yes I know it's a fuel tank but I like it so we've got our fuel tank these are probably the, uh, the I would have thought the what goes the fuel tank holds onto the wings um, it does look like the shape of the fuel tank it looks like it's got magnets in there it has got magnets but that's not them but it's got magnets into there and it's got magnets in there you can feel them mag magnetizing look at that little details that free wing do it's just phenomenal phenomenal so we've got our LED pack which is going to be awesome there is so many videos that I need to make I just you know it's, it might have to be more than one a week if I get the chance the Tiger Moth yes that is a big if you're following the series so if you're following I don't know but there's going to be a big banner here well not a little a little one I think what I, I think it's this side I'm not sure so I think to have a look at the Tiger Moth because that's one sexy play that is uh, Nexa and it's a bolsa and that's what we're building at the moment so after this if you want to look at something really really cool let's just do my button thing up so I don't glass no board take a look at that so <laughs> I can't stop saying it we have a wing now this looks like it's got both wings in here so this is not the best camera angle because it's a double double trouble box so let's get let's get I think we should get it out and then we'll have a look. So if you want to go and make a cup of tea or something, we'll, yeah, we'll have a closer look at the wings, aren't we? Another wing. She's a fair decent bird. Just goddamn awesome landing gear. The free wing landing gear. Awesome again. It's gonna be an awesome day. These look like the uh, horizontal stabilizers, aren't they? Yeah, I didn't realise that the, uh, the, the horizontal stabilizers haven't got um, elevators. Didn't realise that. Didn't realise that. That's pretty cool. This should be interesting then. So that's what. Anything else in that box? A little hole there. No, no, no. So let's. Uh, Cut this again. More subscribers running through the door. Um, I think I'm up to 288 now, and I appreciate every one of you, as I say in other movies. And this is why I'm frying myself just to show you this sexy plane. Yes, yes, I did want to see it myself, but hey. You know. But I bought it on the whim. I played with James at Motion RC in America, showing this off the arse the other week on, on Motion RC. If if um, if you want to have a look, look at this, um, go on YouTube Motion RC. They do every stuff every Friday. Um, and just how it happened, they was doing the A6, which is one of my planes that was the tick on Motion RC. And it's like, oh, gotta have it. Gotta have it. We're getting to that moment of the fuselage. Fuselage. Goddamn. Don't. Sorry, Lord, not in vain. I'll just say, damn. Oh, I'm touching, I'm feeling. Excuse me on this moment. This is censored. <laughs> it's not censored. What are we got in here? We got a bag of bits. Oh, look at this. We got glue. We got glue, and it looks like something else that I don't know what that is, but there's a bag of bits. We've got a bag of bits and some glue. I use my own glue, I don't use the free wing glue. We have got a carbon fibre rod 
little flute. Blip, 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 blip. You can tell I'm excited. It's either there, I'm getting so hot, I'm going a bit crazy. Who knows? We have got more bomb tanks. Loads of bomb tanks. Now, I know that <coughs> it doesn't have the uh, missiles. Um, I was just trying to think of the word then. What you call with all the missiles on the plane, it's called something. It's gone, it's the heat. Anyway, you can 3D print them. So we're gonna do that. We are gonna to do that. Um, Oh look at that, there is, we can get this out now, we'll get the, the other bits and pieces out in a minute. This is the uh, rudder, or oh, bear grills getting a bit unsharp, if that's even a word, is that a word? I don't know. Look at that, not sure what's going to go on there but we'll have a look at that. Look at that. They've already put the uh, servo arm on. It's got those sexy, sexy, sexy hinges. The free wing hinges, if you can see them in there. I hope that's in focus. When any free wing plane, it's solid. It's almost like it is wood. It's, it's, they do such a great job up there. They really do. I mean, I'm not sucking up to them and want a free plane. Maybe, no, I'm not. Otherwise I won't keep buying free wing planes. There's, a, there's obviously my yellow one, that's really nice, that's not free wing, but anyway, it works. Rock Hobby, I think that is. Go there. Anything in there? Anything in there? Anything in there? See, there's not a lot in here. Now, what there is, to conserve sp space, they've done uh, the fuselage in two bits. So we have the tail section, and then the midsection and oh, it's a bit squished it and then the end. It's so big, love it. Mm. It's so squishy. It's not squishy and it's not fluffy and it's not funny. So we can show you the tail section, but we will do the slow mo for the actual front section, midsection. Ah, right. So the actual uh, the horizontal stabilizers are actually the elevators. So the whole thing goes up and down. Look at this, this is, this is, right, so there's the, 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 the section, and then, look at this, you've got lovely timber inside. It's all very, very sexy and very well made. And the end, the end comes off of that, look at that, it's just, it's just so well made. I mean, for the price of the plane, I mean, yes, okay, it's not the price of a bag of chips. But it's worth every penny. Wow. Sexy, sexy planes. For those of you who have been watching my channel now and saying, Chris, when are you going to fly planes? I don't know. This COVID, this year, 2020, has really, has really stopped what I wanted to do. So annoyed me. So annoyed me. When you think that a lot in England, a lot of the, a lot of the people are in, who fly aeroplanes, uh, not so much quads and stuff, but aeroplanes are, are of the older end of the spectrum. They're retired and they're enjoying themselves even though they've been flying for years. And they're the people that need to teach me and to make sure that, uh, you know, I can do my A certificate. You know, I've been, <laughs> I've even been doing the A certificate on um, real flight. Yeah, just so I'll get used to it doing it, you know? I just bit my tongue. I forget I've got new teeth. So, do we want to open a wing or do we get the fuselage? Let's do the wing, because uh, we don't want to do the fuselage, because that's my... Yes, you want to do the fuselage, okay. Are you prepared for the dramatic moment? Cue dramaticness.
awesome. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at the detail in that cockpit, baby. Can you see? Can you not see? Oh, look at the detail. Uh, we might have to come around and do another a closer shot. Look at that cockpit detail. And you not only get one pilot, you get two. Oh. I see, I, this is looks so sexy. I'm gonna have a look inside anyway. Um, oh. It's got a it's only got a double wheel front undercarriage. You know it's got two instead of one. That's my first plane with that. I mean anybody that's got like a it's got the uh, passenger jet from uh, from Ocean RC. I should have worn my Ocean RC, shouldn't I? Uh, mm. uh, then, uh, then you've got those wheels. But that's the, oh. and oh, the EDF and uh, everything. It's just it's just. I mean, we're, we're on the build, this won't be the build won't be for a little while, unless you're watching this video a few months down the line, and it'll probably be straight away. But look at that. So well built, well built. Can you see the EDF in there? Oh yeah, the outrunner sexiness. This is the top end version. This is the sexy version, or as it's now going to be known in the hangar, extreme version. Yes, 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 yes. We are going extreme in Dad's RC hangar. Now, by the looks of it, building's going to be pretty quick. It's just, once again, you've knocked it out of the park. You really have. I think I would have preferred a plastic cowling at the end instead of foam. Give a bit more protection. But I can't, you know, you, you can't complain at that, can you? Yes, I'm Dad's RC hanger, so I do complain. Just a little bit. Just a teeny weeny bit, come on. So let's uh, let's open a wing. Let's show you the wing. Uh, should, the weight of it is quite heavy. I mean, when you think I've got the tail section, the tail section just literally goes on there. She's a nice sized bird. I just love the detail inside. I I, I tell you, I really I really wish that um, that free wing would would you know do something so you can actually get in there and take it out and play around with it you know I know a lot of people sort of just get a plane and they fly it <coughs> flying through the air but myself I'm all about the plane as well and how she looks and how she feels and everything she's she, she is my real plane in my eyes and you know if you can make little touches on there I mean this is screaming out weathering I mean, there's 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 so many great guys that I watch on YouTube that do brilliant weathering. Um, you know, to name but a few, really. But uh, brain's gone anyway. But uh, <clears throat> when we come to that, we'll we'll like that. But this is screaming weathering, and this is definitely a weathering plane that I'm going to be doing another day, of course, because today I'm frying up. I really am. I feel like I'm in an oven. It's because it's humid as well. It's very humid. So, now what do we make of the wing now look at that now I, said, I didn't show you did I I've teased you can you see that front suspension undercarriage sexy and there you go look at that sprung undercarriage on the wing no missing now I do land on grass and that tire I was a bit worried when I was looking at uh, uh, to some videos that is definitely a decent grass tire and you've got suspension in the undercarriage, so that's going to take a lot of bouncing. It looks like we have got um, flaps as well on this baby. They've, they've put in all the linkages and everything, so it's, it's yeah, wow, awesome. It's not a bad wing, it's, it's a pretty good feeling, finish, should I say. It's not the best finish, you know, it's still crocodile, but you could get that in most planes. But to be honest with you, you know, if, if you really want to play around with it, you can you can get rid of that. You can rub it down, fill it in, spray it, and that'll be as smooth as smooth as whatever. But you know, we're gonna put some lights in this. So that's gonna be interesting. We're gonna sort of upgrade this and put all lights everywhere. 
So I was hoping that there would be um, <coughs> uh, cuts, slits, ready for ready for lights, but there's not. And they've got them sexy hinges all over the place. I mean, we'll go into closer detail when we build as we do, but take it from oh, take it from. It was a bit sticky of the paint. I think I'm a bit worried about. It. I don't want to. Oh, there you go. Look at that. That's a flap and half. Flap here now. Got to stop swearing. It's not kind of swearing, but it is. Oh, I've been waiting for this plane for so long since I saw it. It's like I, I love it. I, I don't know why. I really don't know why. It's just I don't know why. But it's just you know, hello there. It's almost smiling at you, don't you think so? Little ratty face. You know, little my boy needs a couple of teeth here. Hello, squeak, 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 squeak. Am I losing it? Is it hot? <laughs> if you can, I hope you're all counting how many sews I've done. So these are the actual um, 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 elevators. So that the whole thing turns. Wow, that's going to be pretty sharp. This is probably not going to be the first EDF I fly. I'll be flying one of my other EDFs. Because I think this could be a bit tricky with those sort of tails. Um, eventually, you know, maybe we'll get some other one in here. I mean, there's not a lot of room in here. You know, I've got my warbirds that I wanted, um, but who knows? Who knows what the what what else uh, Dad's RC hanger will bring? Hopefully, more, 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 more stuff. Um, we've got some crazy, crazy stuff. And before um, before uh, <laughs> before long, I um, want an engine. You know, a jet engine. Uh, but that's not yet. That's probably next year sometime. That'd be pretty cool. So as you can see, I am burning up. I am really burning up. So I think I've showed you everything. I mean, the bag of bits, <clears throat> that is it. I mean, you get like a, a nose piece. I'm not sure what's in there. Let's reopen it up. But I mean, honestly, you probably got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten screws and some glue. Wow, this is gonna be, you know, I know you're all gonna be relieved now. Because you're going, oh, great. Chris, you're going to see it built in one video instead of Chris waffling on. <laughs> oh, you know I like to waffle on. Um, oh, okay. There's uh, something. I think that's an intake. Maybe, a, maybe like a, probably an intake for uh, blah, 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 oil. Maybe it's got a bit of a crease on that one. I mean, we won't see it from there, but it's a, a moulding crease. You know, I'm not too happy about that but I, I, you know I'm being picky I'm looking at detail at the end of the day it's your money and when you notice things like see little things like that where um, there's another thing in here as well sorry I think that's the fuel doesn't that go on go on there there you go hey that's just a clue I think that that's a I think the fuel I think that's the fuel but you know if if you know you're you're spending your money and if you you know if you notice little, just little things that you know just like on here you know where you know they could have just run a ream of paper or, so, or something I don't know what you, you know I don't know but I wanted it I love it it's fantastic it's got a lot of history which we'll talk about um, but yeah so that must be a pretty quick unboxing the A6, and this is the E version, which is to say it's got the bigger outrunner engine and the 12 bladed EDF. So, this is faster than the original. So, if you do like it, you want to buy it, I will leave a link. Um, you have to excuse if the background noise. Um, uh, our neighbours got married, and uh, yeah, really bad time of making a movie. I'm sweating my guts off, and there's noise and everything else. But hey, it's the raw files, the raw files. Yes, instead of the X files, Dad's RC hanger. Raw files. Do, 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 do. Come on, it's there for the taking. So, <laughs> we'll be back uh, next week. Um, probably before that, actually, because I, I need to get some stuff done, but we won't go into on this video. But I will get back to the Tiger Moth. Um, as I say, you click that link, I'll leave the link at the end as well. Um, and that will probably change when I get the, uh, the next uh, the build of this. I mean, this probably. Mm, this could probably come before the rest of the time. There's a lot of stuff I need to do on the Tiger Moth. 
um, still getting used to my teeth. So the, the build actually could become, happen even, start that again, <laughs> put my teeth in, they are in, oh my god. This could be built before the actual Tiger Moth because there's a lot to do on the Tiger Moth and there's lots of little things that are not right that I need to put right and I'm still scratching my head and I want to give you that answer rather than ooming and ahhing, um, and ahhing um, on, the, uh, on the video. So look at that, absolutely fantastic. So I mean there's, there's no, you know, we're not getting any close shots, we do all the close shots uh, when we're actually building it and uh, you know, maybe I'll, I'll do the photograph or something of the cockpit. It's, it's, it's a lovely plane. It's a lovely plane. If you've got space in your hangar, this should be hanging in your hangar. Most definitely. So, until then, if there's anything left of me, because I, Dad's RC sauna, until then, enjoy yourself, keep safe, keep flying, and thanks for popping by now. See you later now. Bye-bye.